Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Bish's RV of Coldwater, Michigan, hanging out with the 26 RBS Keystone Cougar. And uh, actually in one of my previous top five lists, I call this my personal preference for a couple's camper with a private bedroom under 30 feet because this thing packs like big 35 foot fifth wheel and features into a just under 30 foot travel trailer. Uh, like we've got uh, hot cold camp ratings from zero to 110 degrees, which is about the best I've ever seen in travel trailers. And they're doing that because they have uh, things like radiant barriers across the roof, down the nose, through the belly, holding tank heaters, um, as well as direct forest air uh, venting through multiple areas of the belly area there. A lot said the word area too much. Anyway, Goodyear Endurance radials are now standard. They've also facelifted the extension of this and I personally think it looks absolutely dino might as JJ might say uh, we are carpetless uh, the RV also has a king bed up front but you could size that down to a queen uh, the storage in this thing oh, it's, it's got pretty much the best storage I've ever seen in a floor plan like this this RV really for the most part it just crushes stuff it's got three I think potential major areas of concern there's the uh, the bathroom, there's the road mode access, um, there a couple other things. We're going to get into the good, bad, ugly, and everything in between. I'm going to try to do my very best to give you a fair look at this one, uh, showing you where it soars and maybe where it falls a little bit. Uh, Keystone's still pretty much one of the very best for factory-supplied solar solutions. Um, the, uh, you know, now TPMS prepped. Uh, tankless on-demand water heater, so nobody has to take chilly willy showers. They just keep driving forward with these. And first of all, I just spotted something, something we've all been asking for for a long time. Look at the entry door. Notice something interesting going on with that shade? This is, as far as I know, Cougar is the first production travel trailer or fifth wheel, first production RV I've seen to install the shade from the bottom up at your request. Your feedback is making little differences like that happen because understand, it's not just Cougar installing it. They don't actually install the shade. They got the entire RV Industries door supplier to flip the shade. So while you're sitting down, you maintain privacy. But if somebody knocks on the door, you can peek over the top. Folks, you're making it happen. Now, I mentioned this RV has like three potential major points of pause for folks. Um, it's For the most part, the first one here is something that just plagues every version of this floor plan, no matter who makes it. It's just a symptom of the layout. And that is the fact that it has very little in the way of campside windows. By the way, I hope you appreciate the fact that I'm almost like beginning this with a downer feature. I'm just trying to let you know what the RV really offers you and, and what it doesn't, you know. It is nice that all the windows that you do have open for excellent airflow. And you have a choice between some different furniture options, not different decors, but today we're looking at a theater seat. You can also get a trifold high to bed sleeper sofa. And uh, over here, I'm basically taking a knee in the, uh, the booth dinette, although you also have a table and chairs option available. Speaking of options, we're looking at the 12 volt DC compressor fridge. There's also a gas electric two-way option there. Now, one of the things you're gonna see me open all of this up, this RV has just a ridiculous amount of storage. Um, you notice how we also have motion lighting there, and of course, that newly revised shade. Uh, just gigantic rear storage. You've got that extra vertical pantry and drawer space beside the entertainment center. You'll see that uh, up above the uh, fireplace behind the television, you got yourself a big old swing out pantry tainment center that's also a huge chunk of additional storage space. And uh, again, currently Cougar only offers this interior decor, a little bit kind of farmhouse inspired. There's been word that that may change a little bit next year. Don't know what it might be. That, by the way, is not the 16-inch Easy Bake Oven. That is a 22-inch oven, a little bit bigger. I will also say I do think this floor plan does have minimal countertop prep space i think that you've got some room for maybe like a coffee maker or something back in that corner but it definitely isn't the kind of model where like if you're a campsite soup, uh, super cook and you want to spend just all day and night cooking up a storm in this thing this model may not be for you now i'm basically standing at the entry door so like if you were shopping and first open the door this is pretty much what you'd see right here and i think it does look pretty good uh up top you may notice uh, a couple of things first of all the barreled vaulted ceiling the walls are six and a half foot. That ceiling has about, uh, it's an extra 
four or five inches vault or something like that. And we've got a standard 15,000 BTU air conditioner with their Blade Pier air system. Now, the reason that air conditioner looks a little different is because it also has a residential filtration system on it. Help you, you know, breathe a little bit better uh, depending on where you're camping. Help keep a lot of that extra dust that people kick up, you know, when they're screaming around the campsites sometimes a little bit too quickly. You may notice this is carpetless. It kind of looks like carpet on camera. That's uh, not a carpeted material. That is a carpetless slide floor. And your booth dinette has that dream dinette system. Although I do want to just quickly mention what we're looking at today is an Indiana built Cougar where I, I get most of my footage from. They also have a production plant in Pendleton, Oregon. And there's a, a couple little differences like their dinettes have uh, doors on the end of them. Uh, and they don't use front windshields out there like you see here in the Midwest. So if you really like, I like this, but I don't want that windshield. Well, you technically could get that, although shipping across the country could be pretty brutal. Now, what we're looking at is the standard air conditioning arrangement on this. Uh, these are always going to be prepped and ready for a second air. We can absolutely slap a second air onto it if you're so inclined. Now, when you start looking at all the outlets, you might notice that yellow sticker up here. It's telling you that's wired to the inverter loop on this thing. Now, we're looking at the, the base factory solar package that does not have an inverter. It's just inverter prepped. The, uh, the two upgraded inverter packages, uh, those can actually live power things like you saw the TV outlets, um, the, the bedside headboard household outlets. But keep in mind, your USB plugs, those are uh, always going to be uh, battery powered, essentially. Now, this is a 70 by 80 King, and it's the only thing that Cougar comes with. Um, however, if I give you some x-ray vision and we peek down below this, you might notice it always has a 60 by 80 queen base below it. So you can always size down to a queen bed, frankly, very, very easily. It's much harder to size up uh, and maybe impossible to size up to a king uh, if it's not already done that way from the factory. Now, the cabinetry, by the way, is all pocket screwed. Uh, it's called lumber core, which sounds like the kind of thing that lumberjacks would uh, enjoy playing heavy metal or something like that. And again, the the total storage in this thing, like just looking at the cabinets does not do it justice. When you actually open up everything in here, oh my gosh, Becky, look at that butt. That thing just has serious storage all over the place. And that's one of the things I like. Um, I'm very much a function over fashion person, but I think that they've actually done a pretty good job of almost blending the two and giving us both function and fashion in these. Along with that, you might notice if you ever grab a Cougar brochure, they're one of the very few that right on the front of the brochure, it says warranty for full-time RVing. Pretty rare in a travel trailer. So we talked about the windows being a point of concern. Uh, we're going to see there's a, a, a point with road mode that some folks might go, mm, nope, that doesn't work. The other thing that sometimes I think people get, uh, and, I, and I don't mean this in a negative fashion, hung up on, or, or just they're like, no, that doesn't work for me. I'm not judging. It's okay if that doesn't work for you, is the shower. It is a radius shower. It's got great headroom. Some folks find the elbow room to be a little bit too restrictive. I do like, though, how they put a clear door on that shower because the perception is it's a bigger uh, room overall. Now, speaking of big room, porcelain foot flush stool has some fantastic room around it. That is one of those things that never feels really claustrophobic. And some folks really dislike when manufacturers just leave that big gap at the top of the bathroom door. Um, I've talked to a lot of different factory people the rhetoric that is out there is, oh, we do that for airflow. That's, it's not untrue, but that's not really the reason they do it. Most brands leave a gap at that top of the door because it's easier for them to build that way. And I, I appreciate that Cougar just kind of goes a step further there. Now I mentioned, I think this RV has three major points of consideration. Road mode is one of those. Overall, I give it like a B plus because the fact is, it is nap crap and snack-tastic when the slide is closed. As you're seeing here, we can get to the kitchen stuff, including some drawer action pretty darn easily. And uh, if I slide backwards, you'll see that the uh, the bathroom access, well, that's absolutely kind of like me. It's a, it's a no-brainer. There's no question there. The trick is, with the slide closed, 
you got to slide out of door number one and slide up to door number two to get up to the bedroom. Some people really can't stand this. Some people say, okay, that's perfectly acceptable. I'm not saying one way or the other. I'm letting you make the decision. You decide if this is good for you or not. And if you appreciate how I'm helping you give, you know, just get you that information so you can see it for yourself, hit that subscribe button and like our video. Well, once again, we are looking at a camper here that is just under 30 feet. Although if we just refer to this as a 30 foot camper, no one's really going to probably argue with you too awful hard about that. And that factors in uh, to just becoming a very towable RV. This thing also has an 8,800 pound max GVW, which means that, you know, it, it is potentially half ton towable for some uh, appropriately equipped half tons. I think a three quarter ton gas or diesel would yank this thing all over our great nation's highways and byways, uh, anytime, anywhere you please. Some half tons may really struggle at elevation. And part of the reason for that when you start towing up high, air gets thinner, and there's less oxygen available to feed your motor. So, uh, you know, if you want to get your motor running, head out on the highway, you got to make sure that, uh, you know, you have more than just fuel in the tank. You got to be able to provide oxygen for that combustion factor to work there. Now, there's a little simple side mount solar prep plug over there next to a basic water and cable docking station. Uh, you may notice up on the roof, you can see, uh, this does have the factory standard 200 watt solar package on it. Um, I, I think that really the only change I would personally make to this one uh, is I would like it with the 400i solar package. And the funny thing is I park camp. I just like the idea and the peace of mind of having a little bit more robust solar battery tending package. If I lose some power at the campsite unexpectedly because of a storm, being able to keep everything up and running a little bit longer and more reliably, those things, that feels good to me, you know? Up front there, notice the size of the uh, propane tank cover. So many brands are going with 20 pound propane tanks now instead of 30s. And there's nothing wrong with that. But again, being a truly cold camp rated, tested, proven brand, having the bigger propane tanks to be able to run the furnace longer and spend less time between refills, now that's not a bad thing. You might have noticed too, a full big pass through with uh, wide access doors on both sides of the RV. Over there, we saw all of our solar controllers and the automatic leveling control. Over here, we see the tire pressure monitoring prep, motion light, and the kind of brain command center for the in-command system with the color-coded uh, wiring. Every single wire in this uh, has a unique color code on it so that, God forbid, you need service things, it's easier to figure out because electrical is, a, is just a beast to try to track down. And again, I said auto leveling. That's a standard feature on these. Um, not every Cougar travel trailer has auto leveling. Every Cougar travel trailer that basically can has auto leveling. You might be going, what do, what do you mean? Well, there's a certain point where the RV is a little too short for the auto leveling system to be able to operate uh, effectively because one of the things you might notice and one of the things that uh, takes so much of the wiggle jiggle out of the uh, camping experience is that right behind those tires is the rear auto leveling jack. It isolates the wiggle off of those rubber tires, but the RV has to be long enough to kind of allow for that to happen properly. Now over here, they have, uh, they've revised their, they, they, they basically, they're calling it, they have a, a wide and a tall. This is what they're calling their wide camp kitchen at the Cougar Division. Uh, it kind of hides behind that fireplace. But over here, you do have a hot, cold outside utility shower. And then over just above the new for 23, now standard Goodyear Endurance radials with their towing and confidence package, you have their revised wide uh, mini camp kitchen. It's a wide mini camp kitchen. There we go. Um, you've got the uh, the griddle station going on top, but notice how they really allow that to extend out quite, quite far right there. And it doesn't do anything to block the refrigerator. That's the one hiccup and hang up I have with the taller camp kitchens. A lot of brands put these tall but narrow camp kitchens in their RVs. And don't get me wrong, it's a good use of space. It's better than nothing, but it does sometimes present problems getting to the fridge when you're utilizing a hot griddle. You don't have that problem here. Uh, speaking of hot stuff, baby, tonight we got that tankless on-demand water heater. And uh, you probably saw a better look at it before. But check out the awning. Very nicely clears both entry doors. Uh, it does, the, the doors uh, do come right up to the awning arms. So to be fair, if it's raining, you might get spritzed in the face. But I do think uh, you could probably slide out of one, slide under that awning a little bit. If it's just kind of a light, drizzly day and it won't be too awful bad. Now, I couldn't remember if these had a bumper or a hitch. And it turns out they're doing and instead of or with a bumper 
and a hitch instead of one or the other, which I think and is a little bit better than or in this case. Now this does have a fully walkable roof, which is one of the reasons that you see it has that always on rear ladder there. Uh, they don't make you go buy a separate telescopic ladder or anything like that. They just throw it all right on from the factory. Some people prefer the telescopics. Actually, uh, a viewer yesterday said, you know, as a uh, handy capable person where I've got a couple hitches in my giddy up but for the most part I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty spry pretty mobile I prefer the telescopic kind because they can tilt out further and I don't have to go purely vertical when I'm climbing that ladder and I thought huh that's pretty cool that's actually a really interesting point of perspective right there so like I said previously I named this like my very personal favorite for Couples models with a private bedroom under 30 feet. You know, really, to be fair, kind of boiling down, but there's a lot of RVs that really fit that qualification. And it's still an absolute monster. I'm really eager to see what else I get a chance to see later this year and to see if anybody knocks this one uh, off the pedestal. But in the meantime, I will leave you some links in the video description to check out other brands who are building floor plans like this. And you tell me which one you think is the best and why would you go with that brand over this one or would you go with this brand over that one or whatever the case may be. So until next time, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.